So how many people found him guilty and how many people found I think him? it was nine to three or eight to four, something like that. How about you? Um, I, for me, he was guilty. He was part of the jury that acquitted a local pharmacy executive of murder. But tonight, that juror says that was a mistake. The man was the first juror to talk extensively and publicly about what happened behind closed doors in the trial of Barry Cadden, whose pharmacy caused a deadly meningitis outbreak. Good evening, I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Lee Martin. The verdict was supposed to be unanimous. You heard him just there. It was not. A look at the verdict form shows you the jury wrote numbers next to both guilty and not guilty on the murder counts. As WBC's Louisa Muller shows us, one juror says a majority of the panel wanted to convict. It was kind of like, you know, um, a lot of responsibility to be in that jury and make that decision. The burden still weighs on him. So, Months after William so McGallis served as a juror in the Barry Cadden case, the former pharmacy president charged with mail fraud, racketeering, and 25 counts of second degree murder after dozens died and hundreds were sickened by meningitis tainted steroid injections sent out from the New England Compounding Center. Very emotional, you know. As soon as I heard how many people he killed. After months of trial, the jury found Cadden guilty of fraud and racketeering and not guilty of murder. Cadden's attorney speaking afterwards. It is a disgrace that he was charged with murder. It was unprovable, unwarranted, and unjustified. And we are deeply grateful that the jury saw it that way. But McGallis says most of the jury wanted to convict Cadden of murder. These verdict slips released after the trial show notes suggesting jurors were split on all but two murder charges. A guilty and four no guilty. And in a criminal case, all jurors must be unanimous on every charge. That means unanimous for guilt, or for innocence. Did the jury unanimously find him not guilty of second degree murder? No. After seeing the verdict slips, legal experts say the judge should have sent the jury back to deliberate until they reached a unanimous decision. You take the verdict form, you show it to the lawyers, and you say, what would you like, what would your recommendation be? But Judge Richard Stearns did no such thing, allowing the jury to affirm the not guilty verdict and closing the case. Last week, victims like Sharon Wingate, whose husband died from an injection, watched as Cadden was sentenced to only nine years in prison. The nine years is absolutely nothing compared to what me and the, my children will endure for the rest of our lives. McGallis says he also hoped for more. After I heard everything he did, it really hurt me. So, no, I, I, I did not agree with the nine years. If it was me, I was given 30 years or more. WBZ was told Judge Stearns had no comment on this story. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.